So I'm just gonna mute it. Like, dude, look at this. Sandworm from Dune climbing underneath the goddamn canvas of this guy's bicep peak. This is absolutely nutty and uh, makes you wonder how blood even gets through that thing. It's so knotted up and tangled, but uh, it looks pretty freaky. And this guy is a uh, bodybuilder, as you would expect. So here he is flexing the old peak, a little peak check, and it climbs all the way up his neck. What's up guys, Derek from PlateSmartAids.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about worms for veins, bro. This is a viral video that popped off on a bunch of different places. A bunch of people have been reposting this and it makes me kind of wonder if I should just like, instead of making elaborate videos, you know, trying to give some like insightful information, like why don't I just fucking repost the same video, bro, you know? And then maybe add a little snippet clip to it. I don't know, maybe that would hit harder than me actually giving uh, you know details into you know potential deep vein thrombosis, um, phlebitis, actual blood flow. If you're at higher risk, if this happens, what kind of you know complications may come as a result? But anyway, let's fucking get into it. So this is a 10 million view video on Barstool Sports, and they're reposting this bodybuilder. The caption is or replying to a guy's uh, TikTok. Doctor signature be like. How my signature looks on the bar tab. <laughs> yeah, who, who has a good signature? You know, mine is just like a fucking disaster too. So um, you'll see what I mean in a sec. So it's just a song. So I'm just gonna mute it. Like, dude, look at this sandworm from Dune climbing underneath the goddamn canvas of this guy's bicep peak. This is absolutely nutty and uh, makes you wonder how blood even fucking gets through that thing. It's so knotted up and tangled, but uh, it looks pretty freaky. And this guy is a uh, bodybuilder, as you would expect. So here he is flexing the old peak, a little peak check, and it climbs all the way up his fucking neck. And uh, yeah, this, this is, uh, it went super viral. Steroids, he said, top comment. I'm all for wiggly snakes, but Jesus, barf emoji times three. What else did they say? It's nice, bro. Really, it's weird. Fire emoji. What a terrible day to have eyes. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Steroids be like, he draws blood well. Yeah, roids will do that. That guy is so cool. Man is 50% ramen noodle. What the fuck is going on here? Tell me you juice without telling me you juice. Shock face. Yeah, so that's pretty much the basis of the comments. Obviously on Barstool Sports, you're gonna expect that. Now on this guy's page specifically, this is the original video. Um, and... It just goes, I don't know why Instagram like devastates the quality of TikTok videos, but it's like it goes from HD to like blurry as fuck every time you download it. Like look how sharp this is and then look how blurry this fucking same video is. Makes no sense. But anyway, here it is in HD. The guy knows he's fucking freaky. He's just smirking as he goes for the peak check. Craig Goliath would be proud, bro. So here we go. That premium Pfizer hits different, says the creator. Fucking eyeballs um bro has curly fry in his arm my wired earbuds when i put them in my pockets for two seconds <laughs> that's not inaccurate that's not inaccurate aren't varicose veins unhealthy 819 comments yes not accurate at all most are natural just because it's natural doesn't make it safe cancer is natural doesn't make it safe it's literally from an injury in the vein idiot it's not healthy cancer ain't natural it's man-made now you get a tiny cut in that spot and spend 12 hours in the er because they can't stop the bleeding lol have you had any biology class your mom's natural but she'd be giving everyone the itchy bumps fucking crying laughing face 298 likes come at me bro says chris sanchez something tells me you're I'm elementary school. Laugh my fucking ass off times two. Definitely not that ancient Greek drawing on his biceps. High pe high peanut butter, bro. Not high blood pressure. Causes them. Homie here has is obviously on gear, which is probably why he has dick veins everywhere. Ah, yes. They made man-made cancer back in 1500 BC. Gotta love them ancient nuclear byproducts. What the fuck are you on, bro? Haha. <laughs> cancer is natural. Man-made. What the fuck? Crying laughing face. Time to. Bro, you need cable management. So anyway, he's you know, like he knows it's it's a viral thing now. So here he goes again. <laughs> My wire Oh, that <laughs> that's funny. That's the fucking best comment so far. My wired earbuds when I put them in my pockets for 2 seconds. Freak. Fucking freak, bro. 
I like a little tilt of the neck at the end of each video. Your veins aren't meant to do that. I was born with genetic hair curls. He was born with genetic vein curls. One paper cut and it's all over. <laughs> it would look that way. It would look that way. You should see a doctor about that. I'm intrigued. What makes them like that? A detailed video perhaps explaining it. It's his roids. No, look at the, at the vid before this. He is only, ha only has this in one arm. Varicose veins, no real known reason for them to my knowledge, but they aren't exactly healthy. So yeah, there is a reason for them, but it does, a lot of it does come from genetic predisposition. And again, like your entire vasculature is sort of like pre-mapped out when you are, you know, growing up. It's not like he did anything special to like twist them up and shit. Rather, the structural foundation of them was established early. And then things like, you know, high blood pressure, inactivity, things like this will, um, blood viscosity, you know, hormone interventions, these will actually impact um, how much they come to the surface, how much, you know, pressure is causing them to become protruding slash inflamed kind of looking. And ultimately it is not, you know, healthy necessarily. It's not inherently like that fucking dangerous just at a glance and just, you know, inherently. However, if you have, um, like basically it's indicating like one of the users mentioned, it's kind of like a, like a injury essentially, or I don't know if that's the best way to put it, but it's not representative of like ideal blood flow. Like there's some sort of inflammation um, going on in most cases where you are, you know, more prone to superficial phlebitis, where you have kind of like a, like a superficial clot develop essentially, like right at the surface of the skin almost. And, you know, consequent to that, you could end up at a higher risk of that developing into a deep vein thrombosis. Now, what is the likelihood of that? You know, relatively low, but again, like if you have a fuck ton of these all over the place, like obviously with Nick Walker climbing all up your legs, you know, there is definitely concern and you would definitely be, um, um, it would be prudent to be getting, you know, ultrasounds done like regularly and see if there's any, you know, clots developing. Cause, um, like superficial, <laughs> I can't even fucking talk, superficial phlebitis is uh, not that uncommon actually. And in individuals with like protruding squiggly fucking varicose veins like this, you know, it would not be out of the question to assume that he may have, you know, a heightened risk of down the line and down the line ending up with a, uh, you know, DVT or something. Now, again, in the arms, is it that common? Not really. So it's a lot less concerning, I think, than in the legs. Um, but again, like obviously anything aberrant or fucking weird when it comes to circulation definitely should be monitored very closely. There are other bodybuilders that have been known for this though too. And again, it's not uncommon when you're like this fucking massive, you have like that much pressure, you have so many like more, I don't know, factors, multifactorial factors that could otherwise lead to, um, changes in the vascular structure, not the structural integrity itself, but kind of like, uh, um, putting insane amounts of pressure on your body to make uh, morphological changes, not only in organ systems, but again, in like your actual vasculature being pushed to the surface, um, getting inflamed, engorged, getting pressure put on it, increased blood pressure, obviously a major concern as well. Um, and bodybuilders who are essentially inactive, if they're not in the fucking gym, like you can imagine weighing a shit ton and being essentially inactive playing Xbox and being on your phone all day if you're not in the gym, you know, it's like a, a recipe for fucking, you know, um, potential clotting issues when you have, especially these, um, compounds that this guy presumably is using other bodybuilders that significantly increase, um, your hematology profile to a point where your blood becomes much more sludgy, viscous, and more likely to clot. Um, and with the, you know what going on too, like, you know, perhaps there's increased risk of clotting from that that's compounding on top. And, you know, maybe that's one of the risk factors that's pushing people over the top over the top recently with, you know, more of the uh, prevalence of uh, big deaths in the industry and whatnot. Definitely worthwhile to uh, check into and be getting your blood work assessed regularly, um, getting ultrasounds done, not just on your organs as well, but also on actually assessing um, clots if you are at, at risk, which, you know, you would be able to tell if you're at risk in general, I think through your regular diagnostics. Um, again, though, there are other bodybuilders who, you know, seemingly, um, were healthy and had like really fucking freaky veins too. Now, I don't actually know what McGrath's current health status is, but this guy had fucking nutty varicose veins similar, um, around the same area too. Like, look at this fucking deltoid dude. Like, what is this? What is this, bro? This <laughs> is literally like the fucking, what's that thing? The basilisk from goddamn Harry Potter. That is a nutty one. Here he is at the gym with a pump and you almost can't even tell it. This is a fucking vein at this point. It's just so like mangled and fucking all over the place. 
Um, here is another shot of another bodybuilder. It is uh, none other than Paul Dillette. So let's zoom in here and boom, that's some fucking freak factor climbing across the chest. Um, here's uh, more, you know, Paul Dillette shots right there. Here's a pretty freaky one where he's flexing really goddamn hard and you can see it uh, really protruding at this point. It's like he has a fucking worm going from one hand all the way down to the other. And then here's the most notable one um, as of recent Nick Walker with the uh, wild um, shin, calf, fucking everything veins climbing all over his legs and, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, obviously uh, a little bit concerned or maybe he's not concerned. Maybe he just doesn't like the look because he's very, very critical of the freaky bodybuilders nowadays. Um, but he basically said, what's going on with Nick Walker's veins? And he should get that checked out. Um, and basically at the end of the day, like this is like weaker slash damaged veins as a result of pooling at the end of the day, like varicose veins are not, you know, while they can be pretty benign and not lead to, um, phlebitis and subsequent to that, um, actual deep vein thrombosis, um, at the end of the day, it is indicative of a, you know, like damaged or weaker vasculature and some level of like increased pressure slash pooling slash like ultimately it is a risk factor at the end of the day. So, you know, a lot of people are going to be just fine with it, but there is a reason people take measures to kind of attenuate it and may even get surgical intervention in some cases. So obviously as a bodybuilder, especially if they're in the legs, I think it would be prudent to stay on top of it and monitor it, you know, very, very consistently, especially if you're using these agents that are increasing the viscosity of your blood and you are a super fucking high body weight and you're relatively inactive other than when you're lifting or doing your like, you know, fasted cardio for fucking, you know, preparing for a competition. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All the comments help the algorithm. They're much appreciated. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram at moreplacemoredates, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with. In the video description below, my TRT clinic, all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home, get high quality medical oversight from doctors who understand how to interpret these kind of diagnostics, what kind of biomarkers you should be getting to begin with, and how to attenuate your risk as a bodybuilder or as a natural, um, understanding things like angiotensin receptor blockade, beta blockade, um, uh, lipid modulation, um, preventing the development of atherosclerosis. These are things that would be prudent to do as a bodybuilder that frankly, most people just aren't fucking doing. Um, and it's largely because of the lack of education and lack of high quality oversight. So if you want to make sure you live as long as possible and have as high quality and as long of a career as possible, if you are a bodybuilder, or even if you're just natural and want to optimize your quality of life and health, um, check us out. Uh, we're turnkey and we try to do it all. So check it out. If you don't have a high quality doctor, it's absolutely critical that you get one. Um, also, if you want to support the channel, Gorilla Mind, Nootropic Formulas, Gorilla Mode, Pre-Workout Formulas, I Design Myself From Scratch, and recommend a diet model for gaining muscle and sports performance, whilst being mindful of micronutrient intake, gut health, um, and actually, you know, staying as healthy as possible whilst building that muscle through micronutrient-dense foods and whatnot. Um, as well, the clothing company that sponsors me, literally wearing one of their shirts right now. Big Black Friday sale coming up, by the way, with a shit ton of new clothing dropping. And at this point, pretty much 50 to 60% of what I wear, I think, is Young LA. So um, use code MPMD at checkout, save 15%. I think the code's going to be like 30% off on Black Friday. Gorilla Mind having a massive Black Friday sale, too, with uh, buy two, get one free on um, Turk. Fucking uh, pretty much every like big product, I think, on one of the days is going to be um, on a big flash with two bio two get one free and there's gonna be like a big 30 percent off sale i think at the end of it too so definitely stay tuned for that for both companies and um anything else that supports me it's all in the video description below it's much appreciated when you guys use my codes or uh shop with companies that i own or i'm affiliated with so anyways thank you guys for watching talk to you soon